Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this interesting mechanism in Solveb. So let's start. So first thing that I will do is click on insert components, click on new part and select a plane as per your requirement. In my case, I am selecting the right plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Make sure no external references is checked on else you will face a lot of issues. So click on here and draw a circle. You can draw the circle as per your requirement but you need to make sure that you remember the values else we are going uh, you will face issues in mates and other stuff so make this coincide now how much length i should give let's say any length because i don't care for sometimes you know people ask me what are the dimensions let's be frank guys i don't know what are the dimensions anything else I'm just making live in front of you first time. I literally have no idea what are its uh, dimensions I'm drawing go uh, going to be. It's just live in front of you. That's it. So now I need to make a spiral. So how can I make it? Simply select this space. Click on sketch. Click on convert entities. Notice a circle is already created. Good. Now click on here. Click on helix. So what is the length of it? It's 900. So let's make it 300. Notice it's covered up to here. So what does this helix means? You need to understand carefully because I'm going to use it later on words. So basically I'm saying, hey, dead by pitch is 300 mm and the number of revolutions 3. So basically I'm saying that the number of revolutions are 3 and pitch 300 mm means when this thing rotates or sharp rotates a 360 degree whatever the object that is on or on it it will move 300 mm okay if you still don't understand just comment it i will try to explain it there so click okay now i need to convert into 3d sketch so click on here click on here click on 3d sketch click on convert entities again now it will be easier for me to use you know different kind of commands so let's see what is the next step uh, so first exit the sketch mode and let's select the right plane and click on center rectangle draw the center rectangle here uh, give it the dimension as per a requirement i think 15 is fine oh, it's too big this curve is fine distance from here to here is maybe let's not give the distance what i will do select the point exit and just make sure that you are not in smart dimension mode select this point select this line and make sure it's coincide yep now what i will do you can decide the height as per your requirements it is not necessary that you take the same height but it's up to you so go to the features and exit the sketch mode click on shortcut and it is asking for the profile uh, path so if i select this notice it cuts on this side but i want full so select this it's cut like this that is basically what i want now what i will do i don't like it it's a single here like my life so i will use something called linear pattern so i will select this space click on reverse direction so how many should i put let's say 100 let's reduce its number to 3 click ok so you can see this is how it looks like looks okay to me no issues now what i basically want uh, okay we have made up to this point now i have to add something that basically you know move forward backward so let's see what i can do and what is this edge length let's check it out select this evaluate measure it's uh 10.68 no 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 not this thing uh, it's with this plus mm okay that's basically what so i will make it 10 mm something like this so let's see what should i do next before i move forward let's make 
permitted correctly. Uh, wait, uh, select the front plane of the assembly, click on sketch, draw the sketch here. Press escape and exit the sketch mode. Select this, go to the mate, select this line, make it concentric, click OK, select this face and select the right plane, click OK. Up. Now what I have to do, now I have to make it something that you know I can use as a transportation. So what I will do, uh, click on here, click on new part, let's select the top plane. Press Ctrl plus 8. And give it dimensions. This dimension will be 120. And this will be 200. And here to here it will be 100. Featured extrude. Uh, 30 click on here surface I will draw a circle here this will be 100 this will be 50 Okay, that's just missing that dimension one hundred and this will be ten mm ten mm escape select this and this select this and this extrude Uh, 10 mm is fine, not 20 mm is fine. Click OK. Exit the assembly component mode. Move it up. Now I have to do the mates on this one. So watch carefully. Go to the mates. And first select the top plane of it. Top plane of this part. And the front plane of the assembly. Click OK and select this face and select the top plane. Make it parallel or you can use distance as well. So if I remember correctly, the di uh, dimension is 100 mm of this. So this will be 50 mm. Let's make it bigger than 50 because some clearance is provided in real life. Click OK. Now let's change the view mode so that we can see more clearly. So I will move it forward up to wait a minute. Select this face, press control plus eight. Zoom in and drag it a little bit back. Now basically what I want that when it rotates, it's you know move forward backward. So how can I do it? First way is that you do the simulation again, time consuming thing and my PC is not as strong, so I will do a smart work. I will use mates. So click on here, mate. Uh, what kind of mate I will use? I will use rack and pinion. So I will go. It is asking for rack. Select this edge. It is asking for pinion. Select this. So click on pin uh, this one. And so how much should we travel for per revolutions? If you remember, my pitch will be what uh, three hundred. Click on reverse. Let's see. So no, okay. I should not click on the wall and just the reverse. So you can see that's working now. So click OK. Now let's move it. Change back to this mode. Let's change this transparency so that you can view clearly what what is going on. Okay, not hide the component. I buy. Let's change transparency so that you can see. And you can also see that I can control with this one as well. So that's a quite a good thing. Now let's try to do animation here. 
so how can I do it animate uh, so go to the motion study click on here motor distance reverse direction so how much should I rotate uh, let's say 360 times 2 will be fine sound quantity uh, click ok and let's increase that place to 30 for better you know, animation click on calculate ok my bad so click on let's move it backward so click on here motor let's reverse the direction click ok now click on recalculate just to know that if I use uh, something called contact and other thing it will you know quite cumbersome and will not get high accuracy of animation so for better accuracy if you know math and logic why should I waste in time in simulations you know it's not something like this I'm just doing the animation so it's not logical to spend hours or you know spending your computer memory on wasteful things uh, let's make the background to white and if I go back okay one more issue right click disable and if you want to learn about animation motion analysis check out my course link in description if you want to learn about animation motion analysis it's in description so let's make it forward play forward backward let's make it here click on play notice this look quite good smooth and working fine so yeah that's for all if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste